Hi everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet and today is the 19th and I'm not quite sure which charm chatter this is, um, but it'll be listed. <laughs> uh, you'll see it. I want to thank you for joining me here today and I know the sun is going to make me fade in and out maybe. <laughs> I've closed the blinds, but we'll see how that works out for us as the clouds move in front. Um, <clears throat> but thanks for joining me. I'm just in the dining room because my yarn room is a mess and it's hot and the attic is very hot. That's where my studio is um, that I kind of put up for filming. I knew that in the summertime that would not be a good place to work. Uh, so uh, we're avoiding that space. <laughs> it's real hot up there. I, um, I have an old colonial. It's the third floor. The furnace is in the basement. So by the time the heat gets, or the air gets up there it's not not very strong and not a lot of it so that being said we're filming in the dining room <laughs> um i still haven't put away all the yarn that i got from the hobby lobby sales i just have not we haven't been home like we're doing three and four day weekends at the camper and i just i haven't had time and i am really upset about that but i'm doing a little crocheting um I did not get much done at the camper this weekend. We were busy. Um, I don't know, you can listen if you want, and you don't have to if you don't want to, uh, but we got a load of wood in, for, and so we had to stack all that. We built a new gazebo for the grill because the other one blew over and broke. It was several years old. Uh, so we did that, and we went on a putt-putt um, excursion with several of our friends, and then you hang out and you do all that, so um it was a work and a play weekend so but there was not a lot of crochet time i'm sorry to say but i did work on my hugs are free shawl and this is my second caron cake uh it is the amethyst sky color um so i'm going to show you i finished the pattern up to where you put the border on and it's just not big enough for me. I like a long, big shawl and um, I am wanting it bigger. So it's <clears throat> designed to do, you know, make it as big as you want. You just add more rows. So I did the, um, this is part two, starts here and you do the Madonna stitch, uh, which they explain in the pattern and the reverse Madonna stitch. And I really liked that part. So I decided to do that part again, um, except in the pattern, um, they have you do the reverse Madonna stitch, which is, uh, or, you know, it makes a, a point, but you really can't tell it in here, but I really like the point. So I decided to do the Madonna stitch, but I like the point so then I did the next stitch w that goes on to that was supposed to be, um, I think a half double or, or maybe a double single crochet. Um, on this bottom part, I did a half double because I like that better. And then you go through and do this row of trebles. Well, I decided to just do the trebles and it's keeping my point, but it's making it a little bit frilly. <clears throat> So we'll see how that works out, but I like the frill on it too. So I might just make this my last row. I don't know. Uh, it's still not as wide as I'd like it to be, but it's really not going to be for me. And so I don't know, but I kind of like the way that looks. The whole thing is just simply gorgeous. Uh, and this yarn is just fabulous for it, isn't it? Look at that. It just drapes like crazy. And the stitch it works just makes it look so beautiful the yarn is doing a very good justice to the shawl and the pattern and i'm real thrilled so i did finish one complete caron cake and i thought you know i've got two i'll just continue and make more of the shawl um but we'll see how it looks after this last round of um troubles and see how that goes but I put that aside because I it was time I really have to catch up on my um, my hat and scarf sets that I'm making for wings um, from Rose Likes Crochet's wings um, thing that she does wings is if you're not familiar um, they're domestic violence uh, they're an organization that helps 
people that have suffered from domestic violence and Rose collects items for them every month. So <clears throat> Judy which, with Witch Piece Craft has a twice a month hashtag rock 2022 AU that um, is a crochet along that she's doing. So I said I would do a hat and scarf set twice a month to go with her rock 2022 AU and where she picks an album cover and you make something with that with those colors with the music with something that's inspired you so the first of july was um independence day is is on the fourth of july so at the beginning of july here in the u.s so based on that for her first of july rock 2022 au she picked bruce springsteen's born in the usa which then tells you red white and blue i mean right so i had two skeins of this and this is a Dreamweaver yarn uh, that I used to be able to get at a store called Mark's. And they were two skeins in a package. So I had this and I'm like, oh, this will be perfect. I'll make a hat and then, and it's like a four weight. It's a thinner four weight, but it is a four weight. And I believe that this yarn is mostly all Red Heart yarns were, were repackaged under the uh, Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver label uh, and marketed um, by the Mark store. So that being said, I thought I'm going to make, I'm going to make the hat, uh, probably use one skein and then maybe I'll do kind of like I did with the scarf, um, with the rainbow for last month. And we'll, we'll, we'll see how far it goes. Or maybe I'll try my knitting machine and make a panel and then it's not two sided. So I'll just be run, you know, back and forth and try that. I've not tried a panel with my knitting machine. Um, I know it's a little bit different than making, uh, I think you have to go like wind it backwards. I'm not sure how it works. I have to research that. So I thought maybe I'll do that and then one skein might be enough to make. Um, but then I don't know. I don't think I would want it to be 48 stitches wide for a scarf if it's just a panel back and forth. So I don't know if you can shorten it. I don't, I don't know how any of that works with the panels on a knitting machine. That being said, I thought I'll research this and it'll be a new learning experience for me. But I've had in the past trouble with the four weight yarns in the knitting machine. And again, I had trouble. Look at this hat, it's terrible. The stitches are horrible. It was missing stitches, it was splitting the yarn. It, this is the second time I've made this hat. Um, on the knitting machine out of this yarn and it's not tight it's very loose and I thought you know the three weight yarn makes a much better fabric just look at how it's like um, I didn't really try it on but let me see and it's it's horrible it's completely 100% horrible and I cannot give this to someone so I'm gonna frog it, but I wanted to show it to you before I frogged it. I really like how the yarn like pattern works up in the knitting machine, but um, the hat is just horrendous. So I wanted, I wanted to make this video before I frog the hat, because if anybody has a central knitting machine and can use four weight yarn, I would love to know why I'm having a problem with my four weight yarn. The first time I did it with the four weight, when I first got the machine, I thought that's oh, because I'm not using the machine right. I don't know how to do it. Go with the smaller yarns and I don't have a problem. So now this is the first time I've gone back to a four weight yarn and I had the same problems I had the first time I tried a four weight yarn. And then the thing is just like loosey goosey and I, uh, it just looks horrible if you ask me. And I'm real disappointed in it. So <clears throat> I don't, and so when I did it the first time, I mostly did it using the screwdriver. So it was automatic and I thought, well, maybe that just goes too fast. The machine can't handle the heavier weight fast. So this time I did my 100 rows and I hand cranked them all. Um, and it still looks like, ugh. So I'm gonna frog it. But like I said, before I frog it, I wanted to show you and ask for help. If you guys have any idea why I'm having trouble with this, um, I would greatly appreciate knowing. So I have 
and I've got my hook in here because I need to, to add to the yarn. This was the leftover of, of this skein of yarn, so I wanna put it together uh, now that I'm gonna show you this. This is the scarf. Uh, I just started it. And I've decided that I'm going to um, do three rows of trebles because I really like trebles and I think they're kind of fun. And then I'm doing three rows of half doubles, three rows of trebles, three rows of half doubles um, because I like half doubles. And you really can't see a great deal of stitch definition in the crazy pattern on the blue part of this yarn. You know, it's got so much white in it. Uh, the red part isn't like that, but the blue part is. So. I just go simple stitches. It doesn't have to be fancy. You want the the color to be more of what's going on with it. And I thought about color controlling here, but I'm just not going to. Um, we'll just let it fly as it goes. So that's the scarf I'm gonna make. Uh, and it's maybe six or probably seven or eight inches wide. I don't know, it's as wide as my hand. I thought it was good enough, um, wide enough. And if I have enough yarn, I will probably put fringe on it because I, I like fringe on a scarf. So I'm definitely gonna use this whole skein and probably some of this since I'm gonna crochet them. So I brought down um, this red. I love this yarn in the sport. I do have a blue one as well. I have two in the red and um, I do have a blue one. So, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a sport weight. So I know I can put this in the knitting machine and knit up a hat. Um, I'll probably use the whole skein and that'll, and that'll be fine. Uh, so I can knit up the beanie part with this and, <clears throat> excuse me, I got such a frog in my throat. Um, maybe put fringe and maybe put a pom-pom. Use some of this yarn and put a pom-pom on the hat. So that'll make them look more together. That's pro I'll do that before I put fringe. Um, you know, a handmade pom-pom to go on the hat. That's a cute idea. So uh, that's going to be the beginning of the month. Uh, born in the USA. Then for the 15th of the month, this is why I have to get moving on these, particularly if I have to crochet the scarf. <laughs> um, the born in the USA. I mean, uh, the second half is the... Um, she, she picked the album, a Christmas album, because of Christmas in July. Uh, she picked a Christmas album, and it's uh, Elvis Presley's, Christ one of Elvis Presley's Christmas albums. I think he has two, she said. And in, I, I, I have some really gorgeous green and red yarn, um, and I have a pack that I got from Hirschner's last year that's the blues, uh, like a teal blue, white, there's a red, it must have been three colors, teal blue, white, and red, um, also a four weight yarn. I'm like, dang it, because I I love Elvis Presley's, uh, it'll be a blue Christmas without you, I don't know what the actual title is, but it'll be a blue, blue Christmas, blah, blah, blah. So, whatever, all the, that yarn is um, four weight. So, I, and I have a real pretty one that's, you know, the variegated red and green and white and one with gold in it. And I'm like, oh, that would be so nice. I don't know that I really wanted to make a Christmas themed hat and scarf set. So I thought, well, I could go with the Blue Christmas. That's what it's called. Um, so I had this yarn that's um, blue, blue and white. And this is uh, Premier's Fable, and it's a three weight, and so I have the three skeins of it. I know I can make a hat and scarf on my knitting machine out of this, so that's going to be what I'm using for the end of the month one that I haven't started yet, obviously. Um, so that's all I have to really show you. I haven't, I don't have anything else. I spent most of the crochet time on my, over the weekend on my shawl and then today when I got home from work I I knitted up this terrible hat and then decided on my scarf and three weight yarn so that's what I got but I would really appreciate any tips on how to use a four weight yarn in the central knitting machine if anybody knows please let me know um, 
And I want to thank you all for watching, uh, liking, sharing, hitting that button so you know when I put out another video. And I thank you all for being a part of my Yarny family. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.